Scott Talley here from the Worldwide Headquarters of Network in Action, and I'm excited about today's topic. We're going to be talking with Pete Wagner of CWPNM. Pete, welcome. Thank you very much for Glad having you. me, Scott. Glad you came by. Uh, Pete and I have become buddies over the last year and a half or so with Network in Action. I'm happy about that and actually a customer of theirs. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the custom wall prints and how you got started. You are sort of a unique business. It is, um, and I try to keep it unique as well. Um, first of all, CWPNM is the acronym for Custom Wall Prints and More. Um, it just doesn't fit anywhere, really. It's just a long name. You have so. to have a big old chest. Yeah, well, it makes people ask the question, too, what does that mean? So it gives me the opportunity to, to explain it. So a little bit of my history is I grew up uh, in the photography industry, the large printing back in the old days when it was before it was digital. And um, so I kind of kept that technology and then uh, had some photography skills. And people were asking me, well, Pete, can you do this? Can you do that? Well, yeah, I can do that. So I've done little jobs here on the side. And I decided, you know, with my wife, and I said, well, let's just start something. You know, it doesn't have to be big. We, you know, just something to, uh, to entertain ourselves and, and help other people too. Um, Make a little vacation money. Yeah, exactly. A little vacation money. I mean, we started this about three and a half, four years ago. Um, and as we went along, we started to, you know, perfect it a little bit better. And I, I told my wife, I said, I want to do something else a little bit more unique. You know, there's a lot of people out there doing printing, a lot of sign companies out mm-hmm. there, and I don't want to be a sign person. Um, they, Those people out there know what they're doing. I don't as far as that goes. Um, but as far as large format printing goes, uh, consulting with a client and and figuring out, hey, what do you want? You know, you got an idea, Come, you came to me, let's see what we can do with your idea. And we can, you know, design a, a giant print, custom print bordering, anything. Um, and then as time progressed, uh, with my photography skills, I started getting questions about real estate photography. So I said, well, all right, well, there's the virtual tour type stuff. I want to do something unique, keeping that same thing. And from there, I decided to do some investigation on 360 virtual tour photography. Well, with all that, I found a software writer out of state, and he's been very good about helping develop my product um, to where I can add other options to that to make things a little bit more unique as well. So with that said, that kind of goes on the same theme with um, keeping things unique, keeep things customized. And that's where the name custom came from initially. Um, so with that, you know, we can offer customers more options, um, but keeping also, you know, it's not a volume business, put it that way. It's, right. it's more of a customized things take more time. There's a lot more right. consultation with a client because they're going to pay for this amount of, or for this product. It's not a go get on Amazon and order right, kind of right, thing. Right. You know, it's, it's very custom. It's done locally. Um, I do most of the work. My wife is kind of behind the scenes. I've got another helper that helps me put up the graphics and everything. So, um, so we keep it very simple, very personal. So let's talk about the custom printing side first. Mm-hmm. And we, we talk a lot in here about how technology has changed business. Well, you've seen the changes. I've I mean, seen the changes monthly almost. You, you know, know. The, just talking about photography, when you think back to the days of, a, we went and had a photo shoot the other day with the family. Mm-hmm. And I, I uh, about four or five days later, I sent the photographer, well, when we see some pictures. And he said, I'm going through 440. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I went, wow, you shot 40. Can you imagine the old days shooting 440 pictures and developing those? You couldn't, you couldn't afford the film. <laughs> you couldn't afford the film. <laughs> so he has 440 pictures. I'm sure your business is the same with digital photography. It is, yeah. We, I mean, with, with the digital technology, there's, there's no reason not to take one photo. You know, you can take multiple and it's, you just dispose of the images that you don't use. You know, there's no added cost. Um, yeah, the, the photography side of things, um, uh, it's a little bit different on the virtual tour division part of it because we're not doing all these large amounts of photos. I mean, they're, photo, they're a large amount of photos, but they're all stitched together to create the tour that you would see that you could swipe on your phone and all this kind of stuff. Right. So it's not the the wedding photographer that's going to shoot hundreds to make sure they don't miss anything, Yeah, you know, kind of yeah. thing. It's a little bit of a different scenario, but... So your but, customer is really anyone that's looking for an image to put on a wall, almost like wallpaper, but extremely customized. Correct, correct. It's it's essentially it's the the media that I use is a low tack adhesive fabric for the most part. I've done a few canvas here and there, but fabric is the most uh, popular. And as you know. I did your map yep. a couple of years ago. And, so we, we and, created a United States map of our growth of our franchise around the country. We wanted to have a map on the wall so we knew where everybody was. Yeah. 
and yeah. you were able to pull that off and yes. it didn't destroy the wall yeah, or anything. Great, yeah. great. So an application like that, yeah, that's that's the the primary uh, product that will get used is, is something that's temporary. Um, so it's like wallpaper, but you're not messing with the glues and uh, the paste and all that kind of stuff, you know. And you not only uh, helped me design that, but you printed it and then you came out and you helped install it. Yep. And you had some pretty fancy equipment to make sure it was... The good. laser leveler. Everybody loves that thing. Yeah. You, you make sure we got it straight on the wall and all that. It's the, the most important tool in my tool chest. Yeah, I'll tell you what. <laughs> talk about technology. That, that thing must have saved you in a normal install job. I can't imagine before you had that because you had that thing up in no time in our... In oh, our yeah. Season. Well... You know, you do enough of it, you kind of know what to rig up and, and get going with it, you know. Because it used to be the day when I first started doing it was just measuring the wall and put little tick marks with a pencil to make sure everything's lined up. Because there's yeah. no straight wall. No. <laughs> I don't care who your builder is, but there's no straight wall. So that's no true. But anyway, the laser, yeah, that's that's a, a very important aspect in the... Uh, so you'll help a customer with design and the idea, mm -hmm. sort of bringing their idea to fruition. Yeah. Um, and whether it's logos or something, something correct, office, right? Yeah. And then you're going to help them get it printed. Do you actually do the printing yourself, or do you outsource that printing? Or I do the printing myself. You do. Wow. Yep. So you've gone from a little cottage business to having <laughs> investment and printers and large format printing. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Wow. Yep. This, uh, the printers are not. These are these are expensive printers. So at times I do lease out time on other sure. printers because I know a lot of people in the industry. So when we're dealing with really large, what is pictures, really large? Like what? What could a person? How big? Is uh, what, what's you know, a 20, 20 by thirty, yeah. uh, twenty foot wide and thirty foot wide room, or an entire wow. room. You know, those things do take time to print, and you yeah. don't want to just put them on any printer because you, otherwise you'll spend all day just sitting there watching it. Yeah. You know, um, but yeah, that's that's some of the bigger uh, projects are an entire room. You know, especially if you got a high ceiling, it, it adds more to it. Yeah. You know, Fantastic. so there is a lot of time involved. So yeah, like what you're saying, if a customer comes to me. Typically, they're gonna. They already have the idea. For the most part, they don't know where to go with it. Mm -hmm. I want to do Pete. I want to do something, but I don't know what I want to do yet. Well, that's where I come in. I'll sit down with them. We'll go through ideas first, and then we'll look at photos, and then from there we can adjust photos and edit and figure out. You want to put text on it. You want wherever it may go from there. You know, um, oil companies are usually the ones that know exactly what they want. A lot of those are proprietary maps. And I've done a few of those as well, which I can't take photos of. They're they're one and done. I got to walk out. So, wow. <laughs> but they know those are ones that I actually get images that I print. Okay. So there's nothing to do with them. I, I'm not even allowed to edit them. So in a situation like that, it's, hey Pete, here's your image. Put it up on the wall. How does it compare? Uh, would you say in cost in terms of like traditional signage? It or, or uh, other things they might do with the wall to sort of decorate it up? <clears throat> well, it depends on where it's going to be illustrated. I mean, if it's for marketing, um, you know, everybody's going to come by. They're going to see it, yeah. and they're going to go, wow, how'd you do that? Yeah. So whatever the cost was that they paid for that particular product, I mean, it pays for itself. Sure. You know? um, in another situation, if it's a game room or if it's something personal that's not for marketing, you know, it's it's there is no return on investment as far as you know customer base, but your neighbors are going to love it. Yeah. So you're uh, <laughs> you mentioned Amazon. That's one of the nice things about your industry. You don't have to worry about Amazon sort of encroaching on your space. No, think. no, no. I mean, they they do have a product out there. There's you can buy, but it's kind of the uh, the fathead. Everybody in the in the, yeah. in the printing business know that they we term the fathead kind of thing. You know, yeah. you. You can order it, but you really don't know what you're getting. And, and sometimes the advertisement is not quite accurate. So you put it up on the wall and it's, it's a little small. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what I ordered. But, yeah, yeah. But So, uh, wow, I'm, I'm intrigued. Like, do you have competition? Are there people out there doing this? Oh, yeah, there's other people that do that. Yeah. And I consult with them, too. You know, gotcha. um, they always say competition is good for any industry. I don't particularly agree with every bit of that, but the way I see it is if you have competition, the best thing is to learn from them as well sure. and then make your product either better or you could be number two to help them out as well, you know? Yeah. So that's the way I see it. Yeah. It uh, certainly will keep you on your toes. Yeah. And there, yeah. there aren't too many industries where you're not going to have competition. Yeah. <laughs> and, and keeping things on a personal level, I think is more unique in my situation because I don't want to rush into a job. Because I want to make sure the customer has everything that they're, all the decisions are made. Because once we develop the product, and once I have to go to production with it, um, it gets very costly. Yeah. So we have to make sure 
that everything is set in place, all the decisions are proper, you know, and and, and the customer can actually envision this is what they're going to get. You know, a lot of and a lot of people in the industry really don't want to spend that much time on on any particular job, you know. Because yeah, that's the way I was. I'm, I'm probably a pretty typical customer. I sort of had a concept of what I wanted to accomplish, but didn't really have a clue from there. And yeah, it's nice to have you as an expert to yeah. come in and tell me why I didn't want the size I wanted, exactly. why I wanted at least this size, and and then to just have you deliver it within a week or so and, and pop it up on the wall is fantastic. Yeah, because. we try to do it in a week, so it depends yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. But it's well, that's cool. And then so that led to the 360 uh, virtual tool. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, that was kind of another division as far as you can consider it as another marketing division to the business. Um, I was asked a few questions when I was because I'm into you know my photography history. I knew some real estate people because of the wall graphic stuff and people in the business. Well, can you do commercial uh, photography? I said, well, sure, I can do it, you know. Um, so did a few jobs here and there, you know, but it wasn't really part of my company. And looking into that technology more, because I had kind of been out of it for a while as, as far as a mainstream, uh, I discovered the 360. And I thought, you know, this is really cool. And did a little bit more research, found this software writer, as I mentioned before, um, so he and I kind of got to talking and say, hey, look, what if I'm out in the field? You're my writer. Do you know what? You got a good start right here with, with your product. Let me use your software. Let me go in the field with this. And let me see what else we can do with this product and see what people are asking. What do you need? So we've added quite a few features to this 360 uh, tour. Um, and what I mean by that is uh, like when, if you're going to a builder, for example, they have a spec home. You don't want to just be able to... I've seen some technology where you kind of walk through an entire space. Yes, yeah, okay, sorry. That's great. You had to start somewhere, but I think it's kind of dated now because no one's ever going to spend that much time walking through a property, right. even virtually, because it does take quite a bit of time to do that. That's why I wanted to do a tour where you can sweep around and then click on spots that are going to give you all the information you need right away. So you're expediting all that information in one piece wow. of property. So if so, you've got a... 4,000, 5,000 square foot home. How long does it take to shoot that? About two and a half hours. Wow. Yeah. And so you'll go through, go into the wine cellar if there is one, yep. go into the yep. special closet and the, the selling features. Of that yeah. Room. I'll photograph every room except for some of those satellite bedrooms, which are not, they're just boxes. You really right. don't need those. Uh, the living room, kitchen, dining room, master bath, master bedroom, uh, game room. If, if the house has a game yep. room, you know, we'll hit the hot spots and then we'll go outside in the backyard and do a sweep of the of the the outdoor kitchen, and we'll and then we'll come back in and do a bunch of stills. Wow! Of that way, like if you have a client, if a builder puts in certain appliances in their building in their in their homes, um, in that tour you can have a little hotspot. You click on it, and it brings up a, a digital image Very of that, cool. like of the stove or the refrigerator, and it gives you information about what are you going to buy. You know, yeah. this is the standard. Uh, features of this building. And so you typically use that, you'll market that to real estate agents that are typically listing the properties, I would assume, are home yeah. builders? Yeah, home builders mostly, home yeah. Really. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not a product so much for real estate as it is for like home builders, venues, um, uh, hotels, or, or anything like that that's going to be a long-term product. Right. You know, I have done real estate. Mm -hmm. They don't want all the bells and whistles typically because there is added cost. Right. And if your home is going to sell anyway, you know, why do you want all these little all the yeah. extra features. Yeah. The tour itself is nice for real estate. So you've got uh, a couple hours in shooting, and then you got obviously got to come back and put all this together. Yeah, there's and post editing. The editing. What is what's kind of probably time? another couple hours. Wow, that's fantastic. yeah, maybe three. It depends on how many still images we take. It depends yeah. on how many tours we take. And, and so, uh, what percent of your time do you spend on each business? Would you say right now? Um, it's about half and half. Yeah, yeah, it, and it, it fluctuates throughout the year. You know, you when home sales start to go up and builders start building too. It, it kind of teeter totters between both divisions, yeah. you know. So, um, very cool. Well, you are the typical American entrepreneur. I, mean, <laughs> I try to be. It, you know, you know, you are a creative guy. Obviously, mm -hmm. you have a passion for what you're doing, and you see an opportunity, you take advantage of it. I yep. think that's the definition of an entrepreneur. Well, I've, you know, I just want to adhere to people's needs, you know. And if I have the knowledge and the technology to do it, and I enjoy doing it as well, and I think that's the most important thing that you need to have is. Yeah. Do you like what you do? Yeah. You know, and if you don't, you're not going to perform at it. You know, this is right. this is my business, my wife and I's business. So we together, you know, we make this happen. 
Yeah. So it becomes a passion. You yeah, know? And, you know, it's funny. I have people say, oh, it's Friday or oh, it's Monday. And I'm like, man, it doesn't matter what day of the week. No, love, there's no... Uh, what, if you love what you're doing, I mean, I love my weekends with my kids. And yeah. I'm, I'm ready for Monday morning. I'm ready to go to work. I love what we're doing. And yeah. if you feel that way, that's the... that's. To me, that's the American dream is to wake it up is, yeah. and get paid for doing something you love and yeah. be passionate about it. So obviously, you've done a little networking. Uh, talk to us a little bit about the networking experiences, particularly with Network in Action. Um, I started here about a year and a half ago, somewhere. It's been that long already, I guess. Um, and I've been in several other networking groups here in Houston, kind of floating in and out here and there. And then, um, But this one I hear is the most intimate one that I've been in yet. Um, Giselle is our, our host for, for the uh, Midtown. Um, and I think we have about 25 people maybe yeah. somewhere yeah. on there. And I think yeah. it's still growing a little bit. Uh, that group is the best one. It's because we are engaging once a month. We get together. We have our, our main meeting once a month. Mm-hmm. Um, we have activities that we, that are designed to coordinate with each other, find business. You know, we may not be doing business directly with the person sitting across from, right. but Everybody knows somebody that yeah. knows somebody in the industry. Um, and that's this a great, one, that's a great group of professionals too. You know, you don't have a yes. lot of salespeople running around that room or, or multi-level marketers, you know, and Giselle's put together a great group. She has put together a great yeah. arena. Great and boy, you got people. a tiger by the tail there. She is passionate and loyal about helping y'all. That's for sure. Yep. She yep. really cares. And in fact, I tell her sometimes, look, you need a horse to water. She gets frustrated, you know, with the activity. <laughs> like, hey, you know, you're doing your job. And uh, yeah. she is very passionate and cares deeply about all her members. So tell the audience how they reach you by email and phone. Um, you can reach me by my cell phone. It's um, 832-279-8231. I don't, that will ring my cell. I'll answer it. Uh, if it goes to voicemail, I will call you right back. Sometimes it just gets overloaded. Uh, my website is www.customwallprintsandmore.com, uh, just like it sounds. And you'll see some tam- everything I've talked about here. There are samples up there um, of, of a few of the ones that just to try to get everything out of the, from every arena. You know, um, my email address is info at customwallprintsandmore.com. Same thing, one big giant word. Awesome. It's so, really great to have a guest on that you've had personal experience with. And I can tell you, if you're looking for something creative to do with a space in your office, uh, by all means, call Pete. He's the ultimate pro. He did everything exactly like he said he was going to do in our instance. And I appreciate that so much and enjoy the product. Thanks for coming in. Scott, today. I appreciate Thanks. it too. And thank you.